Flow is starving, now I'm eating till my belly full From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat Scared to end up on a shirt before it's in the Devil on my back, target on me belly too Definitely full. Oh yeah. And energized. One last sip for the road. So we actually don't have any other stories in Toronto and I've never been to one. But I'm liking the uh, earthy greenature. Goes with the fit today. You guys will see this in this video right up here. a housing works thrift shop because I've never been to one of them before and you know I've heard that the Goodwills are just kind of bougie kind of picked over because everyone in New York is so freaking cool so it doesn't surprise me but we're gonna try something different I'm hoping the prices are like the mid-range realm I almost bought a $200 purse so I need to be stopped and I need to find something at the thrift store so to housing works we go It's cool because they actually help out the community, which is cool. And, and the I think they, actually are fun. they're not awful, like it's not consignment. Really an interesting concept. I feel like we don't have anything like this in Toronto. This is where we are at. I've heard that it's an interesting situation, so I will show you guys everything you need to know. Definitely aesthetically pleasing, so five points for that. Oh, that looks like my dog and Rachel's dog. Or like how they put their logo on like old vintage stuff. I think that's really cool. The way they do their skirts. Yeah, so cute. Rework skirts. Oh, it's okay. I know, I'm like, that's not bad. I'll just try to get one. Good one. We also kind of just dress for free. So if you want to get like a little booty slit, anything throughout, it's totally free. I love your outfits too. It's great. It brings so much energy to the video that is laughing. I'm like, yeah, we're here. We're doing great. Yeah, we. This is like three. Yeah. sweater in this week for so long and they cropped it like perfectly I do not do sewing you guys know that so I went to the vintage twin and I kind of think I mentioned this but I've always heard that they were like super super expensive and overpriced so I kind of didn't get my hopes up I was like I'm just gonna go in here browse a little bit I was pleasantly surprised to see that they had a wide variety of items kind of like ranging in price which I think is actually super cool for a vintage store so I grabbed this Nebraska crew neck which has already been featured on my Instagram a lot of you guys seem to like it and it was only $28 I have dreamt of this place and now we are finally here. It's real. Ooh. Yeah, it's not fun. That is so fun. Definitely a vibe in here that makes you want to spend money. Yeah. to a more basic level, we are going to Glossier because I've actually never been into a Glossier store. It's definitely a poppin' spot, that's for sure. So, how this fun little process works is you have to find an employee 
pay with them, and then they place your order, and you wait for it. So I picked up a lot, a lot of stuff, but they're things that I've been using religiously in my makeup routine, and I actually did a whole little get ready with me while I was in New York, so I'm gonna link that one up here because I don't wanna bore you guys with like all the 20 products that I picked up, but I did wanna talk about one thing really quick. This is their newest or second newest product. I'm in love with this product. I don't know if it's just the packaging that draws me towards it, but I think it actually does have a really nice effect on your skin, especially when it's worn under makeup, and especially because it is dry and crusty outside now, and I will take anything and put it on my face that is gonna guarantee more glow. So this is really cool. I think it's honestly a must have in anyone's winter makeup routine, and I 100% am so happy that I picked this up. Do not regret it one bit. So I've been wanting to check out the store for a hot minute. The cool thing about New York is that there's so many like online stores IRL, don't need to pay for the shipping or the duties, so we love that. Oh. Wait, this is it. Self reflection chamber. Oh my god, I need to film this. It's sandy. Whoa, we're at the beach. <laughs> this is so peaceful. There's literally the most room for activities in here ever, so love that. I want it all. Things sell out here really fast, so. Are you sure they're free? Yes, <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. So a brand that I've been seeing everywhere is Mad Happy, and as you guys saw, the store was sick. <laughs> it was actually a really, really cool store. I love the brand's message. They're all about like mental health and kind of just like creating sustainable pieces that are in limited quantities, which is something very cool because I think there's too many brands putting out too much crap these days. But this t-shirt that I picked up is actually amazing quality. It's super thick and kind of like has that worn look around the collar over here. So I got this one in a medium. I will say that their stuff, even though it's unisex, is kind of on the smaller end of things. So definitely keep that in mind if you are shopping online. But I believe this one was actually a New York exclusive. So that's why I decided to pick it up because you know, it says New York. I'm gonna have this for a long time and I always love picking up like a special piece that is true to the city that I'm in. So I found this place on Instagram randomly. I was like stalking some cool person's New York City highlights. And I came across a very interesting looking jewelry boutique. Kind of discreet, I think. It's called New Top Jewelry. We're gonna head in, we're gonna see if she lets me film, and I'm excited, I hope they're open. shopping extravaganza, surprisingly, was a place called New Top Jewelry. I've been wanting some really cool jewelry for a very, very long time. I'm kind of just over buying cheap jewelry and having it turn weird colors and making my skin itch, so I decided to like kind of save up some more money and get quality pieces when I can. So I'd seen this little basketball charm over on her Instagram, and I was really hoping that it wasn't a custom piece because I really wanted to get my hands on one of them. So I actually had to purchase this separate from the chain. It was not cheap considering they are real 14 karat gold, but again, I'm gonna have this for forever, so it's never gonna need to be replaced, which is amazing. And then I also picked up this flat curb chain from her because the one that I currently have on from a jury is it just a little bit too short. I feel like it looks awkward if I were to just wear the two. So I grabbed this one, which is just gold plated, and she actually gave this to me for $35. I know I was really curious about pricing before going in there because on her Instagram, it's very all very top secret. The prices do vary, I will say. I think she'll give you a deal if you buy more than one thing. But again, most of it is real gold, so looking to get a cool and unique piece definitely go in there. That is it for my little New York haul and like suggestions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I should do one similar to this when I'm in Miami or when I go back to California next because I think it's kind of cool hearing about people's recommendations and stores where they shop, restaurants. I tried to do more of that but we honestly didn't even eat that much in New York which is kind of surprising. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.